baseball. I was offered Ventura's show when he quit after the third season because he didn't like the topics. Yeah, Ventura quit. That would not do a fourth season. He was offered a fourth season. It was a hit show. But you could see by the third season it was going off the deep end into humanzies and, you know, chubacabras and vampires and crap. And which is entertaining and fine, and I'm not knocking that. But I'm not going to do it, and Ventura's not going to do it. So let's just get this straight to the literal hundreds of news articles a day. And a bunch of them are like, Alex Jones did hurt Piers Morgan, but he wishes he had a CNN show. No, I don't wish I had a CNN show. I have a show with millions of viewers and listeners. I get to reach out unfettered, uncensored, and talk to people. You understand that? I, I know for a fact people like, because I've read about it in the news, Matt Drudge has been offered all these TV shows and radio shows and doesn't do them because he understands the old media is a joke now and you're almost discredited even working with it or being around it. You get the smell of it off on you. We're on Roku, we're on Boxy, we're on all these different platforms and we're in the top, number one, number two, number three, or number four of every media platform out there in news and politics. Without promotion, without me getting up here on air and plugging it, without anything, by osmosis, we are dominating every Every free open platform. And I don't even care about dominating except that I want to get the word out. It's old hat, man. I've been on air 19 years. I've already done this a lot. For me, it's all personal about liberty and freedom and about having a future for my children. It is not about eating at fancy New York restaurants. It is not about hanging out with celebrities. It is not about kissing the butt of Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan, folks, was a joke last year. When I went on his show, he'd already been on two years, and he'd gone from 2 million viewers when Larry King passed off the baton to 600,000. It was 300 and something thousand when he left. Hey, folks, that is the equivalent of not having a pulse. And I told you, I'd been in CNN Broadcast Center many times before. It was nice. It was rotting when the light bulbs burned out with feces sprayed all over the walls in, in every bathroom. I thought they put me in a gross bathroom on purpose, and, and I'm not a neat freak either, but I went down to the other bathroom and started checking, and they, they were dirty too. And everybody looked disheveled with big circles around their eyes and beaten. And I announced here on air, CNN is dead. And you notice they're leaving news now. They're falling apart. They're tanking across the board. I told you last January, 13 months ago, CNN is dead. Did I lie to you? No, I didn't lie to you. Not everything is wonderful. Not everything is cool when you're part of a Jim Jones cult that follows talking points. Piers Morgan is an arrogant nobody. And I went in there and called his bluff and said, look, you're a traitor trying to take this country over and disarm us. And I'm calling you out, scum. Don't insult me and claim you don't want to disarm us. Everywhere you people get control, you take all the guns. Shut up. You know what Paul Revere would have done with running through with a, with a sword sword? But that's because he's a radical. I'm a radical for just yelling at him. Oh my gosh, don't yell at him. Oh, that's discrediting. No, that's how we win a war, is getting in their face, having the initiative, and smashing these people. We'll be right back. Stay with us. It's time to kick some ash. Because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate E-Liquid by LaSig. Because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LaSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaSig.com. Spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. LaSig E-Cigarettes. Kick some ash. The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. For thousands of years, silver has been used as both a medicine and a preservative, but not all silver is equal. Supernatural Silver is an amazing new technology that has been clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. Supernatural Silver resonates at the same frequency as germicidal light used in labs to kill bacteria and viruses. Supernatural Silver is a broad-spectrum microbial that creates no resistance and does not harm beneficial bacteria, making it ideal for daily use. It can be used internally as well as topically and is highly effective against bacterias, viruses, molds, and yeast. Supernatural Silver liquid and gel are perfect for on-the-go or emergency preparedness and can provide protection at home, school, or work. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and remember the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited-time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Piers Morgan isn't number one, he's not number two, he's not number ten. Piers Morgan is fired. Piers Morgan is gone. He'll probably, in some face-saving event, to have a monthly magazine show, I predict, on CNN that's now basically going to cooking shows and entertainment. Because people know that they have an agenda of fraud and deceit and anti-liberty. Everything that's pro-God, pro-gun, pro-family is exploding in value. Everything that's anti-God, guns and guts and family is going down in value. But it doesn't matter. You've got the hijacked government with all the trendy followers who don't even get their news from news. They get their news from the culture. And that's the final domino to fall is the movies and the sitcoms and the dramas where Obama is now mainly focusing. And Paul Watson's doing an article on that right now uh, titled, Obama is taking over late night television. And that's where you've got all the pro-Obama stuff and the Obama visits and the Michelle Obama stuff. They're targeting the young people, the yuppies, who literally don't even get their news from news. Because that's the process. First, they discredit news by taking it over in the last few decades and turning it into propaganda. Now that they're done with it, we go right to White House press releases and right to propaganda and product placement and propaganda placement, what they call behavior placement, inside of the cartoons, the movies, the dramas. So you turn on movies and the gun owners are child molesters. You go watch a cartoon, uh, the bad guys are tricordered hat terrorists, they're going to blow up the dam and Green Lantern has to stop them. Uh, you go turn on Breaking Bad and the meth head is a Ron Paul fan. Every single show has an anti-freedom bent until the last year. Suddenly, those shows aren't doing as well, the ones that have an anti-liberty bent, and I'm seeing more of a freedom, libertarian slant, as they would call it. So there's a real revolution of awakening, especially in the intelligentsia. The system may have 40% of the population totally ignorant, totally dumb, ready to buy anything they're told. Everything is awesome, everything's cool when you're part of a team. 
Uh, they want tripling and quadrupling of their Obamacare prices. Uh, they love every screw job that comes along. They think they're winners. Those people don't count because they're not intellectuals. They're not part of society. When you get into intellectual society, left, right, center, I don't care what it is. People don't like the Republican leadership. They don't like the Democratic leadership. They don't like the establishment. They don't, I mean, I'm talking about rich people, folks, don't like the stagnation and don't like the select corporations that are tax exempt, like Google and, 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 and Microsoft and General Electric and Warren Buffett and all the rest of them. They really are starting to understand the message that it isn't just rich and poor. It's nouveau riche and renaissance and entrepreneurs and the working class and the middle class versus the insider technocrats who literally control the money machines and the issuance of money. And the fact that whether it's MSNBC or CNN, it doesn't matter, or, or uh, Al Gore's current TV, they are all in total ratings freefall. So why do we get so excited when we're on their shows? Why is it so prestigious when the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times calls? Folks, I've had the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times call, you name it, and, and want to do profiles, and I say no. And they say, we are the New York Times, we are New Yorker magazine, we are the on and on and on. And I said, even if you wrote a positive piece, your editors won't let you publish it, A. B, you don't matter anymore. Well, even the New York Times editorial board came out and said, we aren't relevant, we aren't pertinent, no one is listening to us, we cannot cause any debate. When I was in the New York Times for the first time, like 18 years ago, and I was in it a bunch of other times, I would have NPR calls, other channels, going, you were in the New York Times, how does it feel to make it? Because to them, and, and it wasn't even a big deal 15 years ago, they just still thought it was a big deal. And that's all it was good for to go on Fox and CNN was that affiliates would pick us up because, oh, we, we'd arrived, even though there weren't big audiences there. Or sponsors would spend money with us and then get a result, but they would trust us to make a big purchase just because they'd seen me on CNN. But that was six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. We, did, we literally, like the space shuttle with its rocket boosters falling off, we don't need you. You're gone. You're empty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're empty. You're a joke. Now, they're going to counter-strike. I'm going to talk about this when we come back from break. Against the real media, the new media, the independent media, we got to stick together. The battle's far from won, but we are winning this round. And if we have the initiative, get the eye of the tiger, get really aggressive, open a big can of whoop booty, and just get in there and start attacking with the truth, we're going to beat them. They're going to hit the ground. They're never going to get back up. We're real close to slitting their throat ear to ear. I'm gonna and that tongue ain't going to flap anymore once we pull it out. Stay with me. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.
Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWars Health.